What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. Today we are going to play a little game of Will It Cycle. I've got the Springfield 911. We've had issues with this pistol on the channel before. Uh, it actually got sent out and had a bunch of work done on it at Springfield. And then the last video I used it in it actually stove piped again. So we're going to run some different ammunition through it, test it out, and see if it's an ammunition issue or if it's a firearm issue. So we'll head over to the range and get started. Alright guys, this is actually a pistol that I do carry on occasion. And this is the ammunition that I carry with this. It's Federal Hydroshock. So I'm going to start with that, put it to the test, and we'll see what happens. There's six rounds loaded in here. Um, I also have some uh, jacketed hollow points some full metal jacket and hornady critical defense as well i'll leave all of the ammunition specifics down in the comments below okay that one cycled reliably let's try the next ammunition this is full metal jacket That cycled. This will be ammo ink jacketed hollow point. This is Blue Guardian frangible defensive hollow point. And this is Hornady Critical Defense. And that cycled reliably. Let's try something else. Alright, I've loaded up three more rounds of Full Metal Jacket. I don't think I've ever limp-wristed while I was shooting, but I'm going to make a physical effort to limp-wrist and see if we have an issue. Nothing there. Okay guys, so when I'm filming, a lot of times I just do one round in the magazine for the test. So let's see if firing just one round is what's creating the issue with the magazine feed. And a perfect ejection. Interesting. Remember everybody, go over to the community section and cast your vote for the next firearm we get for the channel. I will close the poll once we reach a thousand subscribers and as of recording right now, we're at 995, so just five away. Make sure you head over and get your votes in. Now we're going to finish up with a mag dump. And it cycled flawlessly again. Over 97% of the viewers on my channel are not actually subscribed. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could take a moment, reach down, click that subscribe button, click the like button on the video, and if you'd like to be notified every time I post a new video, you can click that notification bell, and most of the time YouTube does a pretty good job about notifying you when the video's up. Well everybody, I gotta say I've never been so disappointed at a firearm functioning correctly. Every type of ammunition that we cycled through today worked flawlessly. Um, you've seen it before on the channel. This gun has stovepiped, it's short cycled, and we even had it one time not cycle at all, where it, it just didn't, the slide didn't move. Um, it got sent out to Springfield, had some factory repair done on it, um, some warranty work, came back, worked pretty well, happened a few more times, but today it functioned perfectly so I guess that's the equivalent of taking your car to the mechanic with a problem and then 
the car doesn't have the problem when you go to the mechanic until you get it back from the mechanic and then it starts up again. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it informative, or at least found it entertaining. Be sure to visit Idaho Rifleman on Facebook and Instagram and follow the pages over there. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care, stay safe, God bless, and happy Easter. We'll see you all next time here on Idaho Rifleman.